My father was a state championship football and basketball coach when I was, you know, when I was growing up. And one thing that I probably learned from him more than anything else that watching him interact with his athletes and just this people in school, that he, he, he paid just as much attention to the water boy than he did star quarterback. And, you know, at the time, I didn't really think about that a lot, but as I got older, it really was something that has, has stuck with me for, you know, pretty much my entire life. My parents bought their first restaurant when I was 12. Uh, if, if they had not done that, I'd be the head basketball coach at University of Oklahoma right now. There was no doubt that would be my job. But uh, uh, they bought their uh, a restaurant, and, and I've been in it ever since. I've built 25 restaurants around the country over the, uh, through the years. I've always considered the hospitality business is, to me, the greatest thing in the world. I get, I get to throw a party every night, and I truly get to throw a party every night. But going back to no matter how successful we are or what we do, at the very end of the day, when you take all the layers off of it, we're servants. And I think that if you walk and see our company and kind of how we are today, you can really see that kind of that servanthood kind of through us. It's super important to me, you know, from that standpoint. Uh, in my early 40s, uh, had the opportunity to uh, come to McKinney. I just really loved what McKinney stood for, right? You had all this explosive growth going around us, the fastest growing places in the, in the country, right? But they still had this unbelievable downtown. And I kind of realized in my early 40s, right, that that's where I wanted to spend the rest of my life. When we moved here, we just automatically dug in. I, I, I knew this. If I won't put my name on it, right, I'm, dug, I'm digging in. I really pushed our leadership team. This is nine years ago. And I think it's a time for us that we really had an opportunity to go this way and be very successful, or go this way and start thinking just a little different than what most people do. And so we opened Harvest, it was the, 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 big, the big go to the right was that we created the Sea Project Foundation. So the foundation funds education, agriculture, and community initiatives that support sustainability. That was, that was when, you know, we, we started as a whole company to start looking at things a lot differently. And, 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 and for the most part, it's just questioning how we spend our money and where our money goes, right? We want our money to go in McKinney and the surrounding areas. And we've taught ourselves, thank goodness to YouTube. We have six beehives on our farm. We have six beehives in McKinney Roots. We grow all the flowers for, for harvest on our farm. By this time next year, we'll produce all the flowers for the hotel, all the flowers for Rick's. Cut my carbon footprint down, right? right? And really learning and teaching ourselves kind of what to do. But we had an opportunity to take over McKinney Roots. Which is, it's a donation farm in Northwest McKinney. And it's an it's a old repurposed baseball field. And so, and we're farmers, and we know what we're doing now, right? So our first year, you know, we're averaging to feed about 300 families a week. We have 180 chickens. We produce 135 dozen eggs a week. We produce about nine or 10,000 pounds of food this year on our, first, on our first full year. Nine years ago, I had an opportunity to go that way, which was great. We had an opportunity to really dig deep. And for us, it was all about McKinney. It's all about our community. It's that we're, this is where we live. This is where we're dug in. We're responsible to take the level of business up the way it needs to be consciously, as, as, as not only taking the business up for ourselves, but everybody around us. About a year ago, we had the opportunity to buy the Masonic Lodge, and, and we're super excited about it. We can't, we can't wait to, to move Harvest. It, it really is by far the best place for Harvest to ever to be able to, to move to. So it's 3,400 square feet on each floor. And when you walk in the first floor, it, it will look almost exactly like Harvest does today. The round booths on the right, the high back chairs in the middle, and the booths on the left. Um, cool bar on the first floor. Uh, second floor is uh, our kitchen and, uh, and uh, a private dining room for 50 people. And uh, we, we've decided to build the kitchen on the second floor because the uh, uh, what we're going to build on the third floor. And so the third floor is where the Masons met. There's 16 eight-foot windows that's been covered up for decades. So we're going to be allowed to open up all those windows. And you have these panoramic views of downtown McKinney. And uh, uh, I look forward for people to see what, what we do. I never wanted to call it Rex. Never thought about calling it Rex, right? Um, 
my wife certainly didn't want to call it Rick's because there was no exit strategy there, right? Uh, and I really felt like that if I named it Rick's, it would still be that small town feel that had drawn me to the square originally, had, had drawn me to McKinney. Because no matter how fast it was going, how big it was, there was this, there was this feeling for me that everybody knew your name. I kind of like cheers, right? Everybody knows your name. And um, so that's what I did. And uh, uh, had a wonderful partner, Don Day. Don was the gentleman who, who owned the building and owned the Grand Hotel. And, uh, and so when we opened that hotel and the restaurant 15 years ago, it was uh, uh, Rick's in the ballroom and 14 rooms in the hotel. And now there's, there's 44 rooms in the hotel proper. And uh, we, are, we are renovating it from floor to floor. It's funny, you know, I've always been a person that when you walk in one of our properties, I want you to feel our personality, right? The hotel is just super fun because we will curate over the next six months each room at a time. So when you walk in a room, it is curated with each and everything. Each and everything will be kind of handpicked by us. And when you come and spend a weekend with us, uh, you can certainly just kind of feel like it was McKinney made.